One thing that has got me out of the studio is a really exciting thing. There is a company in Nigeria which happens to be arguably the first in Africa to distribute electronic vehicles and they are called Siltech World. Now, I will be talking to the founder of Siltech and he will be taking me through all the vehicles that they have here, the plans for the company, and how much these bikes are, as well as some really, really useful information. So if you're ready, I am too. Let's go on a ride. of all the things to do with tech. Why did you choose to go in this direction? I think I've always been a climate change enthusiast. This actually started as a hobby. Okay. I traveled um, to an international trade fair in Asia. Okay. And I saw this electric bike and I fell in love with it. When I bought it, it didn't take me far enough and the suspension wasn't good enough. I realized at that point that most electric vehicles are made for Asia, Europe and America. So we focused on the suspension, the battery and the motors. We're here today. Um, 1,000 electric vehicles sold. 1,000? Yeah. I noticed that this one looks like something a young person can ride. Basically, our, our target is for the mass market. This is for like kids. Um, you can cycle this as well. This isn't as fast as the other ones. Okay. Um, the speed is kind of like a gentle speed. I see pedals here. Yeah, yeah. So you can pedal as well and you can charge up. These are part of the custom features, you know, when you're in Nigeria, you want, if people can hear you coming, they can definitely see you. So we got one of the brightest um, LED lights as well. Um, but yeah, this is the best seller around Lekki, VGC, Kati. This will go for $650. So this is an electric trike and it's got a um, lean suspension. So, um, so you don't have to. Technically, this, this bike cannot fall. Um, you know. These are the things you can't achieve with um, a petrol bike because you'd have to have the engine. Not one of these bikes are expensive. The main part that is expensive in the bikes is the battery. So it's like buying inverters. The higher capacity battery you buy, the more expensive. Yeah. So this one is 1.5 because it's got a huge battery. It's got a 60 amp hour battery. The other ones have um, 20. Typically, how long does the battery last? Um, From the least, so the least? A day, three days. It depends on what you are doing. This is the first um, electric security patrol vehicle deployed in um, Nigeria. And this was deployed by Halogen Security which is one of the companies we consult the for. The Halogen? Yes, the Halogen okay. Security. You can see the, oh, yeah. the logo over there. So this is, I think, our final stop. What's this one called? Um, this is the ES1 Black Series. Yeah, um, so this represents the future of um, electric mobility. You know, all the ones I've shown you, the engine is situated inside the tire. So this one, the reason why it represents the future is because it's similar to a petrol engine in, this, in terms of the fact that the motor is centralized, mm -hmm. not inside the, the tire. So there's not much space for design for this. But this gives out a higher performance. Um, you know, this, this, is, this is pretty much the future. So the battery goes in here. And all of these things are things that you can do on your own without any external... Yes. If you didn't and someone told you come and buy an electric bag, it does be like, ah. <laughs> what if it breaks down on the road? So you guys do after sales services as well? Yes. And we give warranty as well. By the way, let me show you something. So this has got a special key. Okay. Yeah. So, so this could be a 5 kilowatts or an 8 kilowatts. So it's almost like you have a two liter Honda where you can change it to a V8. Right, yeah, so, <laughs> with that. Yeah, when you put in this USB. But we only give it to people who are over 18. So guys, this has been a very insightful conversation I've had with Tolu Williams of Siltech. The website is siltech.com. They have payment plans. If you are up for that, check them out. And let's just make the world a better place one EV at a time. That's a good one, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Belarus from Texas, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
<laughs> <laughs> it has happened too many times.